and coral honeysuckle does not uh, invade other plants it's very tame but it will go up and up and up if it has something to climb on but the main thing about coral honeysuckle is that it is a pollinator uh, king for hummingbirds and long-tongued bees because it has these red tubed flowers that hummingbirds depend on when they come here. We rarely use our feeders anymore, our artificial sugar feeders, because we've deliberately planted coral honeysuckle, cardinal flower, grape blue lobelia, and jewelweed, and a few other tubular flowers that they really like. And so hummers will just use those and sometimes we put out the feeders just because, especially in the fall when they're getting um, pumped up to go south again, uh, we put out the feeders but they hardly ever use them because they have plenty. We planted native plants to uh, sustain all of the pollinators around here all through the year from the very beginning of spring and the earliest spring all the way through to when uh, everything goes to sleep again and the migrating uh, pollinators leave and some of the residents stay and eat the seeds from the native plants. But this particular gazebo we planted for specifically for coral honeysuckle. So coral honeysuckle blooms three times in the growing season. It, grow it blooms first. Its strongest blooming period is in May and June and this uh, honeysuckle arbor here, the gazebo is covered with red uh, trumpet flowers then and then it'll bloom again and then one more time it has, you can see there are a few red uh, coral honeysuckle blossoms there right now and in some other places around here in the sun we have actually cut back the coral honeysuckle uh, tendrils midsummer and that way they have more the hummingbirds have more blossoms later on for when they really need it which is about now in September until it gets too cold for them and they leave so this is coral honeysuckle c-o-r-a-l coral honeysuckle and it's a native I would not recommend any kind of cultivar of this particular type of vine because sometimes it can be too aggressive so I would highly recommend that you find a native plant nursery in your area if you're in our growing zone it's zones six and seven and eight probably uh, on the northeast side of the United States 